Hello everybody, my name is Manuela Davis and today we're here in front of Mimosa Hall. Mimosa Hall is one of the very few antebellum homes left between here and Savannah. As you may know, Sherman burned his way through Atlanta on his way to Savannah. The story goes that homeowners put the Mason sign on the outside of their buildings and when they did so, Sherman shied away from burning it as he was a Mason himself. Dunwoody Hall, as this place was called back then, was initially built for John and Jane Dunwoody in the late 1830s. It was built as a replica of Bullock Hall and the property is adjacent to Bullock Hall. They uh, finished construction in 1841 and before they were able to move in, this place burned down to the ground due to a devastating chimney fire. Reconstruction was started immediately, only this time with brick and mortar. In 1846, when construction was finally finished, Dunwoody Hall was renamed to Phoenix Hall when the Dunwoodies were finally able to move in. Since then, Mimosa Hall has had six different families to call this house their home. One of the um, families was a uh, pronoun architect, Neil Reed. Neil Reed um, changed some of the uh, inside of the house and uh, replanted most of the gardens as during the Civil War, the gardens were destroyed. The last family that owned Mimosa Hall um, was the Hansel family. Their devotion to the community had much of their time and effort going to local charities, including the um, founding of the North Fulton um, Child Development Association, today simply known as the CDA. In 2017, the city of Roswell was able to purchase this historic jewel. Together, with the Friends of Mimosa and other stakeholders, the city is working on a master plan to, uh, for this uh, beautiful antebellum home. If you would like to visit Mimosa Hall's gardens, you can do so by appointment and for rental purposes only. For more information, please visit friendsofmimosahallandgardens.com or southerntrilogy.org. Last month, Mimosa Hall received a new solar roof. It is the oldest net zero building in this country. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Historic Homes of Roswell. My name is Manuela Davis and I am a realtor with Century 21. Please like me on Facebook and LinkedIn and follow me on Instagram. I'll see you all next Friday for some more real estate news. Bye bye for now.